So sorry about that, Virgo. My phone rang. I can't put it on airplane mode because then I'm, my videos that are uploading will upload. So it's a double-edged sword over here. Okay, love Mercury retrograde. Awesome, awesome, good times. All right, so anyway, part two. What I was saying was that, you know, you might be willing to kind of entertain an offer from someone, a romantic offer, um, but it's like half-hearted, you know. You might be extending a half-hearted offer to someone too. Like you don't really, really see a huge future with this person, but, you know, you're like, all right, I'll, I'll go out to dinner with you. I'm bored, whatever, you know, that type of thing. Um, it's not super-duper exciting is what I'm getting here. Um, the other thing is, though, with the Hermit, I know this is your card, but again, it, this is about somebody, you know, coming out of the woodwork, okay? So I feel like it's somebody you already know um, coming in to extend you an offer. For others of you, as it relates to work, if you're looking for something else, it looks like something does come through for you this month, but it is a page of pentacles, you know? Um, it may not be the money or the salary that you're exactly looking for, okay? Um, Let's go into your near future, Virgo. Oof, the Emperor Reverse. We hate him, right? He's the narcissist in the group. Possible Aries energy here, or Taurus, okay? Ten of Wands Reversed. Um, releasing yourself from some sort of burden. Uh, feeling overburdened, like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. You know, dropping some of those wands. Okay, and then you have a really good ending here. New beginning and victory, okay? Clarity, communication, but it's a fresh start for you guys. All right? Um, Emperor Reversed, you know... He's just such an annoying character. I just like cringe every time he comes up because he's like, you're dealing with somebody who is just really concerned about themselves and really into themselves and they don't really give a crap about anybody else, okay? Um, but some of you guys are definitely dropping that type of situation, all right? If you're involved with somebody like that, this could absolutely be a boss, you know, a company even, something like that. But um, if you're not feeling appreciated or valued, it's like you are like, you know what? I'm not carrying this load anymore. I'm just not doing it. I want something fresh and new and shiny, right? Um, and this can go either way. It can go work, you know, even friendships, family members, things like that. If it's like you're dealing with this energy that's really just concerned about themselves, you're, you're, you're shedding that, okay, to start something new. You do have air sign energy here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well with that Ace of Swords. Okay, let's do Eight of Cups Reverse for Virgo, please. What's the Eight of Cups Reverse for Virgo? See, I told you, they come back from the past, but it's they bring conflict with them. Um, you know, Five of Swords is all about conflicts, fighting, somebody being internally conflicted. I mean, it could be that you're internally conflicted about this person that's coming back. Like, should you let them back in or should you not? Um, if you're thinking about walking away, but you're still on the fence, so say for maybe a job or something like that, you still have a lot of internal conflict about it, okay? King of Pentacles reversed. King of Wands, interesting energy, okay? So going from something that feels very unsteady, unstable, shaky, to somebody who's absolutely in control of things, all right? Um, you may need to take the reins here. Again, if you've got somebody or a situation that is causing you to feel unsteady, you might get that King of Wands type of energy going where it's like, you know what, you got the fire lit underneath you now. Like you, you want control of the situation and of your stability, okay? Ten of Pentacles, reverse. Nine of Pentacles, reverse. Yeah, guys, okay. If it's somebody coming back, they're just not st stable. They may make you an offer. They don't, you know, they don't want you to be single anymore. But you have to understand, it might just be a control tactic. All right. So be careful, Virgo. Um, others of you, again, it's paying out money. Okay. So you might have had to pay for something, you know, pretty expensive that might have been unexpected as well. Knight of Cups here for Virgo. Page of Cups. See, coming back with a vengeance. Um, this can be an apology, but also. Again, an offer, you know, of, of emotions or love, something like that, you know, like somebody really wants to be with you. Um, the Hermit's clarified by the Queen of Wands now. So now we have a lot of fire on the table, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? But here's the thing, you know, you need to stand up for yourself, Virgo. Um, do what's right for you because, you know, this person, even though you care about them, they may not have... Uh, the stability that you're seeking, okay? They may just be up to their same old tricks. Page of Pentacles. Why is the Page of Pentacles here for Virgo? Yeah. So, again, some sort of offer comes through, something like that for you guys. You might be extending it to somebody else, kind of like coming out of this period of anxiety, grief, depression. Something that you've been waiting on may come through too with that Page of Pentacles. Pentacles usually take a while. So something that maybe you're waiting on for a while, like a, maybe a check in the mail or something like that that comes through and lets you breathe a little bit, okay? 
The Emperor reversed. Why is the Emperor reversed? Oh, wow. You guys came up twice in your reading. Ooh. So, Virgo, here we go. The Hermit, okay? So, either there's a narcissist that's, like, really, really present in your energy. Um, some of you guys, though, be careful. I mean, it could be that you're coming across that way, you know? Um, and obviously, you don't want to do that. But, you know, I think it's just for a lot of you guys, you're really going deep introspectively and just trying to figure out if you want to deal with this person because they are very, very, you know, all about themselves, okay? Ten of Wands. Dang. Okay, Two of Swords. So, again, major crossroads, major decision, you know, to, to deal with here. You're at a crossroads in your life, but the advice here is to definitely try to drop some of this burden, Virgo, because, you know, you're carrying too much. It can't last like that forever, okay? But then we have the Ace of Swords and the Star. Definite Aquarius energy here. But this is about hopes and wishes coming true. So if you really want out of something, like seriously you want out of it, what you're wishing for is going to come to you, okay? You'll have victory. You'll have a new beginning. You'll have clarity in your situation by the end of the month, which is great, okay? All right, let's pull a love oracle card for Virgo, please. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So, you know, for some of you guys, and I'm kind of looking at it differently now, it's if you're in a committed relationship, you know, give it some time. Don't just completely pull the plug on it because you're angry, okay? Um, so that might be that. Or you might need to address some issues within your partnership. Um, have a serious conversation. That can be the Ace of Swords, too, uh, with your partner because they may be doing something that they don't even realize they're doing until you bring it up with them, Okay. Others of you, you know, it's like somebody's trying to come in here and you're very reluctant or hesitant to let them in, okay? I do see that some of you guys will be letting somebody back in, but it's kind of like very carefully, you know, very carefully. Um, so if they're not like, you know, the most horrible person on earth, you know, if they're not Jeffrey Dahmer, then maybe think about, again, you know, spending a little bit of time with them, kind of seeing where things go. Maybe they have changed, you know, maybe they're bringing something better to the table now. It still looks kind of shaky from my end over here, but maybe they're working on that, you know? So that's the advice there for love. And then let's do an oracle card for Virgo, please. Oh boy. All right, card number 14, Denial. All right, let's see what it is. Okay. All right, we've got consider the wait for your highest good. You're not meant to achieve what you want right now. Keep the faith, for if you wait and show patience, I will reveal some wondrous things later. This is a gentle warning not to get caught up in your desire to reach your goal too soon. You may choose sour fruit that only looks ripe and juicy. In this case, I alone know when the time is right. Patience, my child, okay? So if you're being denied something right now, if you feel like something's not working out or it's not coming in fast enough, it's because there's a need to be patient here. They're gonna bring you something better. That's what they're saying, okay? And that can go in any aspect of your life. All right, Virgo, thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in a personal reading, I can be reached at trustandtruthtarot at gmail.com. Just shoot me an email. I'll send you everything you need to book. Um, I'm also available on Instant Go for quick answers to quick questions if you're interested in that. Um, I wish you all a beautiful month, lots of love and light, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.